Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here and in today's feature we will be talking with the co-founder of TikTok, Zimim Chen. I hope I got your pronunciation right. Uh, we'll be chatting with Zimim about TikTok, its future and some of the exciting projects that they currently have working. Now it is really exciting because I was really eager to meet with the team and learn more about what they're working on. Um, so this interview is really raw. Um, Zimim is actually in his garage for this uh, video, his garage. Um, and uh, I think it's like a really nice chat um, about how he sees the future of TikTok and how he plans on continuing to grow the company along with their team. Now, it is an exciting interview. You guys will find a lot of value from it. I'll include as many uh, useful screenshots as we go through this to illustrate what Zimim is talking about. So without further ado, guys, and a big thank you to their team to putting this together, uh, especially to Elaine for organizing it and Zimim for taking the time out of his evening to jump into this. So thank you very much. And let's dive into today's video. Cheers, everyone. Um, but first off, um, Zimim, do you mind introducing yourself? Um, and your role at TikTok. Sure. Hi, um, Francisco. Uh, so um, thank you for so much for invite, the invite. And my name is Zimi. I'm the co-founder of TikTok. It's my honor to represent um, our team to have a chat with you today. And uh, you know, as uh, you know, a very popular app, a lot of TikTok users, you know, are really interested to know who we are and what we do and we are, why we're so dedicated to the field of time management. So I'm ha very happy to answer all those questions. Um, and for those who don't uh, take, take, take it yet, uh, you will know how take, take, uh, can help you to keep productive. And for our old fans, I, I think you can to know us in depth and also feel our passion and uh, you know, expect a couple of new features coming soon. Um, I will take a little, talk a little bit about our team and the mission. You know, today we have around uh, 30 um, team members from Silicon Valley in the US and also an engineering team in China. And uh, we are a very mission-driven team and uh, we're trying to help everyone you know, stay organized, and enjoy a peace of mind so that uh, you can stay creative and uh, we actually have been working on this mission for almost 10 years and uh, you know and we'll continue work for at least another 66 years you know that's <laughs> a lot um, so, yeah so why 66 years uh, it's, it's actually a very, very fun and encouraging story and so, because for these 10 years, you know, I will talk a little bit about the history of the, whole, uh, the product. So back to early 2010, um, by that time, our founding team, you know, were all big fans of Google Tasks. You know, um, and however, we found it like uh, there's no good Android, you know, client for it. So we actually took a month to build our own app called uh, GTasks. And I um, and we should you know this one can can uh, sync with Google Tasks perfectly, and uh, as that, that night we released that app, it actually got uh, um, fifty thousand downloads just in for that single night. Wow! Yeah, and the number you know reached the two two fifty thousand in the first month. Um, and although you know the Google and uh, Gtask is very successful. Um, and it reached the millions of dollars in the first year. But uh, you know, the Google Task itself has very limited functionalities, right? And uh, but as those feature requests from our GTask users, you know, are growing rapidly. So we decided to build our own app, you know, TikTik, -tick, uh, to, uh, to better meet our users' needs. And even today, you know, uh, TikTok still have a lot of users follow us from all the way from, you know, the time of the tasks. 
I didn't actually know yeah. that you guys um, were the, the the guys behind that, which is uh, yeah. really interesting because um, I yeah. remember it being very very popular and uh, obviously a lot of people using it above, say, Google Tasks. So um, yeah. Yeah, that's really exciting. And yeah. and and obviously TikTok is grown into a very big application. Um, what are some of the things that you're currently working on at TikTok right now? Yeah, um, definitely. So there's many exciting things happening uh, right now. You know, I think the first thing is uh, the API integration. Um, so right now, in order to offer a better platform integration and user experience, we are enhancing the API integration with other platforms, um, you know, such as Slack, Zapier, and IFTTT, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, you know, some um, Google Voice Assistant, uh, Voice Assistant like uh, Google Assistant, and also you know, Amazon Echo. And uh, we want to, you know, with those integration, we really put the user experience in uh, in the center. So we're creating a tool like to better facilitate our users' life and work. So besides those API integration, we we are also working on some uh, other exciting features. For example, um, multiple level photo to support uh, you know heavy users or those who need uh, manage complex projects. And also, we are working on the templates, um, try to save users uh, the time when they come across a very similar task every time, you know, like uh, pack it, packing luggage before travel or preparing meeting agenda for clients. Um, so whenever you see a, comes a similar task, you could uh, find and restore a template simply in one click. You know, we want to provide our users in best experience for each device they have. Um, so we develop native app applications on each platform like iOS, Android, web, Mac, um, you know, Windows, uh, and also the tablets. And you know, that takes a lot of effort, engineering effort, right? But we think it's absolutely worth it because the user experience is always our first thing. And also, I think another thing I want to share is that TikTok also is always very quick in R&D. Uh, you could probably you know, feel it from our frequent updates, right? And uh, you know, TikTok is also not just a to-do app. It also like, integrates a lot of other useful features. Uh, just to name a few, like uh, Poma Timer, um, you know, Habit, Calendar, and also Location uh, Reminders, right? Mm. And also as uh, the board of views. And uh, we are usually actually the first product to introduce those creative features. Um, for example, uh, we integrate, uh, integrated like Calendar in our app in as early as 2015. Um, so, by the way, although we have like many useful features, we try still, uh, we still actually keep our app very easy to use, you know, and at the same time, it's also very flexible and, uh, customizable for our experienced users. Definitely. Yeah. And one of the things that I, I do obviously notice a lot with you guys is that you put a lot of time and attention into moving quite fast, which is really good. I think yeah. that's a that's definitely something that TikTok is known for is bringing out some really exciting features yeah. and, and fairly fast. Um, yeah. And and that yeah. leads me on to one of my next questions is is yeah. what what future features um, and uh, experiences will you have inside of the application? Yeah. Um, so you know TikTok is always helping our user to stay organized and to stay creative. To achieve this, you know, one feature we we think is very useful is the markdown. In um, so you know, compared to other to do apps in the market, you could probably feel that TikTok's detail page looks like um, you know more like a note taking app. You know, that's <laughs> one of our unique features. Uh, normally, you know, uh, from for the time management tools, the note function is usually not where developed um, and task and nodes are separated 
However, you know, after learning our users' feedback, we find it uh, should not be uh, that, like that. And in our daily work and life, um, the need of organi organizing tasks and uh, taking notes are often intertwined with each other. Hmm. So to be more specific, um, when we have, haven't started working on a certain task, it's a to-do, right? And in the process of working on it, uh, it, we may need to collect materials and other information and just write down our progress as notes. And in the end, when the task is completed, it's no longer a to-do, uh, but it leaves purely as uh, notes. So we decided to you know, uh, elaborate those note-taking function and better connect it to our tasks. Definitely. And uh, the second one I think is, you know, uh, is we want to make our tick tick smarter. Um, we are aiming to offer, you know, intelligent suggestions to let our user use the tick tick more efficiently. Uh, for example, we want to be able to uh, generate a meeting agenda for our users based on their schedule in the calendar. Um, so, for example, for interviews, uh, they can use these functions to automatically generate available time slots and then send them to the HR person. I think these the, the smart functions can be very useful for those uh, people with very busy schedules. And, and uh, another thing like we want to mention is the uh, internationalization. You know, you know, as a user spread across the world quickly, we want to uh, do more internalization support work. Uh, for example, we will enable voice input with uh, different languages, you know, to add tasks. Fantastic. There, yeah. Well, there, there are a lot of uh, exciting features. And I think that yeah. you're thinking about the calendar and the way that it interacts with the end user is actually quite exciting because you're looking at the whole process, which is good. So mm -hmm. uh, that's very exciting. Yeah. Um, and and something that um, obviously uh, we as a keep productive community there is plenty of tick tick users plenty of uh, other users but uh, there's so many tick tick users that would like to hear a little bit more um, like a message to the community to some extent and um, mm. do you have any uh, messages or notes that you want to share yeah. with them we actually have a lot <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> yeah um, the, you know the first and the foremost message we want to say is like the community, you know, we always put you first. Um, so for example, in order to provide a better experience in, um, to our user around the globe, we actually set, set up our data center separately. Um, so there's dedicated data centers in US for our user outside China. And also, you know, we have a dedicated um, data center in Beijing for the user inside China. And uh, we also value, you know, a lot of uh, customer support a lot. Um, you know, um, question or tickets are guaranteed to be responded within 24 hours. And uh, so without our user's variable feedback, critics or suggestions, we wouldn't be able to make it today. So be serious, you know, dear users, we actually hear you and then we know you, and then we will help you, and we really love you. Oh, that uh, is nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, or just you know, I think now I, it's the right time to go back to our 66 years journey. Um, so, so the story is like this. So recently we have a user in China who bought our premium version you know, in a low of 66 years. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's a 66 years. It's a whole wow. life commitment, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> so we feel uh, it's the best rewards for our uh, our work. So and we are so encouraged to work on Tick Tick for you know at least another 66 years, <laughs> even just for their user. Right? Yeah, definitely. And uh, um, we are looking forward to go together with all of you who share. You know, the same love with Tick Tick. And uh, in the end, uh, the holiday season is coming. 
and the TikTok has planned uh, uh, very special themes and the promotions to join your celebrations. Oh. Um, so we wish everyone has a delightful holidays and you know, a full of joys with your families and the friends. So, That's fantastic. That's yeah. so nice. Uh, well, the the thing is, it's uh, it, it's great to finally chat with you guys. Um, I, for me, I appreciate it because. I, I like to see and talk to all of the divide the, the providers of, of these great applications. So, mm-hmm. um, well, congrats on all of the work you've been doing because it's been super fun to watch um, your progress for sure. So, Zimim, um, thanks for taking the time out. Thank you so much, and uh, give us the opportunity to talk with you and our community. <laughs>